I came to the open day here and I went, this is where I want to go, you know, and, um, and, and learn, I certainly did. If I'm going to throw it all in, I want to go the best place I possibly can to, to, to train and learn and develop skills and so audition for NIDA. The students that come here, there's a real sense that they want to change the world and, uh, you know, we give them every opportunity to. A, you've got to have the talent, but then also you've got to get the break. Oh, it was awesome. It was like getting into the fame school or something. Do you know what I mean? It was a, a, a major turning point for me. It was an absolute dream come true. NIDA is a national resource. You have to love it and you really have to be driven to do it. You're here and every day you're like, oh my God, like this is, you're here because you've wanted it for so long. Studying at one of the world's leading arts training institutions is the learning opportunity of a lifetime. One which will give you the skills, discipline, practical experience and tenacity to realise your ambition. NIDA shares your hunger for the performing arts. It will fuel your ambitions and enrich your dreams. If you're talented, always apply. And uh, if you don't know whether you've got talent, I always say, please apply because you don't know. Let's see where we go with that, okay? We have Yo. some 170 <laughs> students in eight different courses, so you can be an actor, a designer, a production student, you can do production crafts, so you can be come out as a wardrobe supervisor or a props master or a scenery builder. Then we have postgraduate courses in directing and voice and movement. Remember Baz Luhrmann, is a, he, he did the acting course here, and who was to know that he would end up doing what he did. When Baz Luhrmann came looking in 1986, I think it was, for somebody to work with for the rest of his time, he was looking for a team. He was looking for a creative team. He didn't want to pick up one or two people per show. And he came and saw me one day and I said, I've got a couple of designers, Catherine Martin and Angus Strathy, and they met here. So that that was a sort of nurturing ground at that stage for young filmmakers looking for, you know, like-minded uh, creative souls, I guess, to get mm. together. Working in the arts is a, is a pretty tough life. You know, it's not glamorous. It's not um, champagne and sparkly dresses and red carpet. It's actually a lot of hard work. And the people that actually make it in the arts and have really successful careers are those people that work their butts off. Everything you learn from the theatre you can obviously take onto film and television. And it's a good grounding. And I'd always, I'd always go back to theatre because I think it's important and that's where NIDA, it teaches you how the basic skills and organisation to then go on and move from there. It just challenges you and pushes you to the absolute limits that you can be pushed and you come out for the better for it at the end. Well, we hope so. <laughs> yeah. We're really looking for, for what we can do with them and people who have the ability to learn. I'd want to know that you're interested in theatre, so you might have been involved in school shows, which is always a start. I'd like to know that you kind of had ventured out maybe to the local amateur society just to really apply yourself to that. So it's not just caught up in the, the mix of school, and, but actually there's some initiative of your, on your own part. You know, I had this sort of feeling that NIDA was untouchable and unattainable. But having gone to the interview, chatted to the head of the course at the time, he gave me some tips in terms of what to do to try to, to work hard to get into the place. And the year, a year later, I was then accepted into the course. What we're looking for is some basic skills that we can build on, but we're also looking for potential mainly, because we don't expect them to have already mastered the craft. How about shall we begin not alone? The production course in particular, the final year of the course, concentrates on a real transition year into the industry, so there's a really strong emphasis on work placements and internships that allow the students to be placed into the industry to get real experience with real people. That looks good. Thanks. And generally, as a result of that experience, uh, w the course tends to have about 100% employment because of the contacts and, again, the skill base that's been built here. NIDA's training philosophy and educational expertise is available to the public through NIDA Open Program, which offers a range of part-time courses as well as short courses suitable for all ages throughout Australia. All right, guys, 30 seconds, then we're going to perform them, all right? Often it gives you a sense of the place, what it feels like, something of the way in which NIDA might operate. So people can have a little taste, if they like, to, to test themselves in that environment, to see if it appeals to them or if they think that they'll gain from it. You spend three years with 25 amazing people here and, and you know, they're friends for life and, you know, sure, you, you know, they go off on their own tangents and you go off on your own tangent, but there's always that... that 
relationship there that is that no one, nothing can take away. And so it was wonderful. Yeah, absolutely. You work with so many people that are graduates. So um, you probably, if you're working on a particular production, say there's 20 of us working on it, there's probably 15 that have actually come from NIDA. And it's lovely to be on jobs where your wardrobe designer or your production designer on a film is a NIDA graduate or your lighting designer or a writer or a director. You know, it's not just actors, it's a school, you know, for everybody. There is a, uh, an incredible bond with the people that study here that because of the nature of the courses and the essentially the hard work that goes into actually getting through the courses you form a really strong bond with the people you go through with and again that lasts and like a scar you have it for for life really. People also talk about the night of family you know if you go well, for me, that's been my experience. You know, I've come back again and again over the years and I've always had incredible support. You realise the uniqueness of a group that goes through NIDA. And I think they do too. It is like a little family. And it's only three years and then it's gone.